Hello Internet, it's I, the Roshi, and I'm back with another reaction, this time reacting to Arlequino's character teaser. Before we get into this, I feel like a lot of stuff is going to be shown, and it's going to be quite a shock to me. Potentially, maybe, depends how they plan that out. We're going to see, I guess. But before I started watching this, I did actually share my thoughts about what I think Arlequino's deal is, and that will be revealed to you after we watch this together. And then I'll share my initial thoughts and we'll move on from there. But anyway, I hope you're here for the ride. I sure am. Let's get into it. I'm sorry, Father. I was reckless. When I saw those emaciated patients, those poor children, the futile hope in their eyes. I've told you before, recklessness always leads to failure. But it was not wholly in vain. I shall settle the rest. Ah, those fools. They will never know the wonders of wealth. That's who. <laughs> Father, your face, Framine. We can take in a few more homeless children next year. I have acquired some new funds. Oh, okay. Mission accomplished. You can sleep now. Thank you. Once I'm better, I'll start my next mission. Those who parade their virtues often do the most evil. We are not like them. Rest in peace, Snajevna, my child. Hello, Internet, it's I, the Roshi, and you already know that. Listen, I wanted to record this before I got into watching the actual teaser itself. This will probably be posted uh, after or later in the video, rather, after I've seen it, because for the algorithm, you're all going to click off if, if whatever. You know what I mean. Anyway, my original thoughts about Arlequino. I was trying to piece things together in my head as to how this all makes sense, what I've been able to gather about her character about the Fatui just a little bit here and there and I could be way off but I want to share them here and now before anything could potentially be true or completely untrue most likely untrue but this is what I have I know that Arlequino because of the comment section is also referred to as father now when I think of father I think of a guardian keeper person who is a leader when you think of religions such as Christianity, you know, the, the priest is referred to as father. It's, it's that kind of figure, right? I also think of an orphanage per se, where the person running that orphanage would technically be your, your mom or dad. And then there's a theory that I shared about the treasure hoarders and how they would call you a test subject. And I thought that was connected to the Fatui in some way. I was told repeatedly that that's not the case and that they're just testing their grenades on you. However, 
because I made the connection to the Fatui, a lot of people were like, oh, you might know a thing. So that made me think that perhaps the Fatui are indeed doing experiments. Whether or not the treasure hoarders are involved, they're probably not, but that could potentially be a thing anyway with the Fatui experimenting on people. Now, thinking of the experiments and the father figure, there are kids involved, young people involved, such as Linny, Lynette, Fremenet, and dare I say, maybe even Kale, because I know, I haven't read the manga yet, but I know that Kale has been sick or was sick at one point in time. Was she sick from experimentation? I don't know, but I think it's Fatui related. But you have Linny, you have Lynette, you have Fremene, and Fremene has the last line in his character demo where he's talking about as long as the hearth shines, there will always be a home to go to, something like that. Now, we know that a hearth is a fireplace and shines fire. Like, you know, if it's, if it's a nice of hearth and home, if it's a nice warm place, there's something for me to go to. But he doesn't specifically say a place. At least I don't remember if he does. Either way, I think the hearth might actually be a thing the place, the front, whatever it is that Arlecchino runs, and that she's got these children soldiers, essentially, to do her bidding. So that's what I'm kind of thinking. I don't know if these children are being turned into super soldiers. I don't know if it's the same kids getting experimented on, like maybe Kale was, if that's even a thing. I know that they're messing with Gnosis, with God stuff. I'm sure there is just something sketchy going on here and Arlecchino is that ringleader of that little operation. Maybe it's not connected. Maybe the experiments are being done by um, by someone else like Dottore or whatever. Doesn't he have a nickname like Doctor? I don't remember if that's true, but I thought I heard about that somewhere, but that would make sense for experiments. Either way, I think I'm pretty sure that Arlecchino is at the very least the head of some orphanage, some place that takes in or possibly even kidnaps children or people and kind of has manipulated them over time for them to look at her a certain way and do certain things. Based off of those older theories and the context clues I got from 4.6, that, that trailer, that's what I'm going with. And I wanted to share that so it could be compared to my initial afterthoughts of the teaser that I'm about to watch, which I already watched from your perspective. Anyway, time to compare what I think now. Thanks for listening. Ah, okay. Um, wow, that was a lot. They do such a good job with these. I'm actually blown away a bit. Um, okay. I love the shades of gray with the Fatui. I have to say that. Arlecchino by no means is a good person, but she's a good person or so it seems. In a way, she is. If Arlecchino is actually having people adopted into whatever that she runs, um, then sure. If she's kidnapping people, that's a whole nother thing. But it doesn't seem like there's actual kidnapping going on. I, my brain is going a million miles per hour. One thing I need to say, I made a joke about her shoes being murder weapons. I was not wrong. These were built with the purpose of murdering. I saw that coming 10,000 miles away the moment I saw her shoes. And knowing that's an actual thing that she does with them is like, that fulfills me. <laughs> because now it's not just a stylistic choice. It also has a purpose. But yet you had a murder and another death and all in one teaser and the just pulling at your heartstrings with these homeless people, sick kids, and, and Charlequino is strangely cold, but warm at the same time, like does what she needs to do, but she genuinely does seem to care. What an interesting character. 
I've got, I'm like, I got shivers right now. Like it's a, it's kind of like a colder rainy day and there was like rain and that and the whole Fatui vibe and Arlequino being the way she is. And Ooh, I got like, I got the shivers, but they're the good kind. That was great. I thoroughly enjoyed that. <laughs> I, I just stood here for five minutes, just staring into space, just thinking about this. Wow. I'm blown away. That was awesome. Um, let me know what you think. Are are you now excited for Arlequino if you weren't before? Did this teaser change your point of view at all? Are you excited for the demo? I imagine the demo is going to show some pretty crazy stuff as well. I mean, I'm pumped. I'm pumped about this. Holy crap. I also know some animated project was also released revolving around Arlequino. However, I'm not sure if I should get into that either yet, since I'm not really even close to Fontaine at all. Maybe someday, I don't know if it's going to be soon, but perhaps the stuff that I shared will change your minds, and maybe I, I should take a look at it. Who knows? Anyway, that's all the time I have for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. And as always, if you want to support me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already because that means a lot and there are additional ways to do so by checking out the description and seeing links to my patreon to become a member so on and so forth help me out let's make the funny numbers go up it means a lot every little bit counts thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed yourselves i loved this and now I need to go sit in my corner and stare at it while I contemplate life stuff. Shine on you crazy diamonds, later.